All right, hello YouTube, YouTube subscribers. Um, today I'm going to bring the species profile on the uh, bumblebee gobies. Usually there's two species that are actually sold, and they're often sold together. Um, one of them's uh, Brachiogobis joronei, and the other one is Brachiogobis uh, subanus. I'm pretty sure that's how you say the names. But don't, don't always remember, I tend to get the names wrong anyway. So um, I did tell you a story about how I got these guys. I got them a long, long time ago, and I haven't kept them since. But I do see them occasionally, and I usually do not bother touching them. Um, what's interesting about these guys, they're just, they're actually closely related to the uh, night goby. And they're both a fish that's found in both brackish and in fresh water. So um, when you're keeping these guys, you want to make sure you have either one of two things. You have uh, brackish water, or you have hard fresh water. Uh, they will, these fish will absolutely struggle in soft water. They can't handle it. They need that hard water to survive. And it's not, it's up for the bait whether or not they prefer uh, brackish water or hard fresh water or not since in the wild they live in both areas. You'd have to do some pretty detailed research on like uh, their lifespans and reproduction, reproductive rates in fresh and brackish water to tell which type is actually better for them. So just as a strong reminder, do not keep them in soft water because they'll perish pretty quick. Um, these guys have typical tropical temperature requirements, 22 to 28 degrees or so. Uh, thing is, about keeping these guys in the community, they can be, have some uh, difficulties keeping these guys in the community. For starters, one, they're small. They're usually about 2, two centimeters to about 3.5 centimeters, so usually just a little bit over an inch. And they're slow. And they tend not to eat like uh, dried foods or frozen foods. They usually prefer live foods. So um, one way to go around this is you can keep them with say guppies or a smart type of live bearer. And if you're keeping them with guppies, you can actually keep them in a brackish water tank with the guppies or even with mollies too. And what this does is the uh, live bearers end up feeding your gobies for you because the, the live bears if you keep say a large amount of females in that tank and they keep reproducing ever on a monthly basis they'll produce fry and if you have enough females they'll probably end up producing fry every day and your gobies will get eat those fry that's one way to keep these guys um other than that usually you gotta feed these guys live food live tofina uh live blood worms uh live mosquito larva stuff like that you can condition them to eat flakes and to eat dried foods and thawed foods. Um, one thing you could actually do when I had these guys, when I bought them out and informing myself about them, I did get meat flakes. And the way I did it was I'd make sure the flakes looked like they were moving as they entered the water by uh, dropping them near the uh, filter so the flakes would twitch around and stuff. And that's how I got them to eat. But that might not work. There's lots of instances these guys pretty much never accepting live or dried foods. So, um... This is one fish you might want to avoid unless you're quite experienced simply because of its uh, feeding habits and the fact that it's quite delicate. Uh, you need to make sure you're right on point with all your water changes and stuff like that. And you gotta make sure to provide them with hard water and with uh, brackish water. And I can just tell you about that time when I was younger when I kept these guys. Um, I was living down in South Manitoba where there was hard water. And then as soon as I moved them, they were doing fine, but then I changed the water, and then they pretty much just died because when I moved up north, the water was soft. So, uh, the bumblebee goby is uh, not a starfish. It's uh, something that, if you're really interested in brackish water tanks, small brackish water tanks, is something that's probably a bit better than the night goby as a choice. You know, it's not the ideal community fish either. Um, usually, I do say some sites recommend keeping these guys in groups of six or so. Uh, they are territorial too. The males especially will love to chase each other. And I think the males in both species that are commonly available tend to be darker. But uh, one species is actually paler than the other. And uh, they'll be compared in the slides following this video. So, um, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And as always, there'll be more information on this fish in the slides. And if you want, just comment, ask about the fish, and discuss. And I'll be hopefully be there to comment and discuss with you in the comment sections. Peace out.